Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anan Brand Wax Deers. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's Kitchen is a Chata Kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with with Anand Brand Wax Deers. The Festival of Lights glows once again in many nations. Let's take a trip and find the interesting variations. Some are quiet and simple and others filled with family and friends. Join us now for Diwali Passport on WESN. Let's get set to jet off far away once more. And this time, we head to a country with two names, Burma and Myanmar. For generations, the country was called Burma after the dominant Burman ethnic group. But in 1989, the military leaders changed its name and to the world, it became Myanmar. Some still use the original name, since in the Burmese language, Myanmar is simply the more formal version of Burma. This is the largest country in mainland Southeast Asia and has a population of around 54 million. Let's note here that the population is mostly Buddhist with minorities of other faiths. And when it comes to Diwali, each faith has its own reason for celebrating. According to history, some Hindus left India and arrived in Burma in 1885 to work in the rice paddies. Other Indians who were of the Sikh or Jain religions settled in the country for various reasons. These small groups brought with them their own Diwali customs. By now, we are quite familiar with the Hindu aspect of Diwali celebrations. But what about the other groups in Myanmar? For Jains, Diwali is celebrated as the day that Lord Mahavir attained Moksha. Mahavir was regarded as the man who gave Jainism its present form. And Moksha means liberation of the soul. On Diwali, Jains remember Lord Mahavir's teachings, such as those of non-violence, non-possessiveness, and open-mindedness. On Diwali morning, Nirvan Laddu is offered after praying to Lord Mahavir in all Jain temples. They tend to avoid firecrackers during Diwali as they cause harm to living organisms and they tend to observe the holiday in relative calm and peace. In the Sikh tradition, Diwali is known as Bandi Chor Divas or Day of Liberation. It commemorates the release of Guru Hargobind, their sixth guru, along with 52 other kings from prison, where they were held by the Mughal emperor Jahangir in 1619. When the guru returned to Amritsar, India, there was celebration and fireworks lit up the sky at the famous Golden Temple. The Bandi Chor Diva celebrations involve Nagar Kirtan or street processions and reading of the Guru Granth Sahib, which is the central holy religious scripture of Sikhism. It is also a day to visit the Gurudwaras or the Sikh temples. For Buddhists, Diwali is the auspicious day to celebrate two important figures. Gautama Buddha, also known as Siddharth Gautama, who lived in ancient India and is regarded as the founder of the world religion of Buddhism. And so monasteries and temples are decorated and Buddha is worshipped. The other significant figure for Buddhists is Emperor Ashok. He ruled almost all of the Indian subcontinent from 268 to 232 BC. It was recorded that after witnessing the mass deaths at the Kalinga War, which he had waged, he converted to Buddhism on this day and chose to follow a path of peace and enlightenment. 
Though the various religions in Myanmar observe Diwali for different reasons, a common factor in all of the understandings of the holiday is the triumph of good over evil and light over darkness. I'm Shamji. Join us here on WESN for another Diwali Passport presentation. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anon brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anon brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with Anand Brand Wax Deals. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chattuck's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chattuck's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's kitchen is a Chatta kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anand brand Wax Deers.